Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Oirat Oppression campaign in Europe Universalis 4. So I, uh, I was thinking about taking Military Tech 13, but then remembered that when we westernize, everything's going to be cheaper, so... We should probably just wait instead of doing it now, even though it'd be nice. We don't need it. We've already been beating wars against people who have superior tech, so... I think we just kind of sit on these provinces. Perm is now down to 90% war score, so we get one more claim on them. And in very, very short period of time, since I, I took just the bare minimum amount from them, so the truce is quite short. 1605, it's just six years. We can attack them, vassalize them, and then feed all of their territory that they have Corazon from Ryazan back to them. In the meantime, um, what are you doing? Who are you supposed to belong to? Apparently I sent you to an army that was already moving. And now you're just an extra. Well, let's get down into position to fight these guys. Um, you can come around to... Here. And we'll blitz Yarkin. We'll go bam, bam, and then have a 17 down here for that. That means that this army can be available. Also means we don't need these forts. I have a lot of forts. I don't know that I actually need them, but I don't mind having them. They're pretty damn cheap. All things considered. These extra forts that I built up here might never even see use. But it just feels like a good thing to do. It feels like the right way to play. The way it's supposed to be played, you know? There's like... There's the min-max type way, and then there's the... The way you're supposed to play the game. Shall we race force limit even higher? You know what's sad is by now we would have actually had manpower recovery. So, for... An administrative point per month, we can just have an even bigger army. I'm for it! That's not very many points per month that we get now. And we're about to lose our power projection. We should insult Ming. As soon as we need to, we'll, we'll insult Ming. And then we need to actually, like, take land from Ming. We'll probably attack Ming after we westernize. Of course, after we westernize, they might westernize. But they're Chinese, and we are Muslim. So it'll be a lot harder for them to westernize than for us. So, do we want... Alright, I already took the force limits. We've got another... 22 plus 19 is... Uh, 40 or so. How do we want to modify this? Do I want to continue using the same balance? Is this is this a good balance? It's kind of cavalry heavy. Very, very artillery light. I'd like some more artillery in the armies, but they're damn expensive. I certainly can't afford to add 40 artillery. If I did add 40 artillery to the army, then we would have... 52 out of roughly 220. So that'd be about 24% artillery. Hmm. So if I spread those guys out, let's just do it this way. How many stacks do we have? We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten complete stacks. So if I built 40 artillery, that'd be adding four artillery to every group. Taking the army size to 21, which is manageable for supply. It's cutting it close because some of our provinces have only like 19 or 18. Over time, we'll have more though. I'd be the most concerned about like up here. So, but yeah, that could work. 
Question is, could we afford the maintenance? 40 times 0.37. It's 15 ducats a month in maintenance. At full, uh, at full... I could afford it, yeah. I could. On the other hand, we could just make 40 more infantry and just add 4 more infantry to every stack. And, and then we're only paying a fraction of the price. A third. 5 ducats a month. And I think that the way the AI calculates, like, relative strength of the alliance, I don't really think that they care about the troop type. Or the troop quality or discipline or anything. It's just how many bodies do you have. So having more infantry, while not particularly sexy, might just be a very, very powerful way of doing it. Then again, we do have cavalry combat ability. But we already have enough cavalry, I think. Well, since we are integrating the Timurids, we should just do that, get some more money from them. If every army had five artillery, that would be a lot better for sieges. Alright, it's expensive, but we're going to go with the artillery idea. I'm going to go for just decking out the entire army with more artillery. Alright, so that's 40 more, which puts us at 218. Perfect. Okay. It's gonna be expensive. Alright, first thing we're gonna do is insult Ming so that we. Let's wait till January. And we'll insult Ming. Actually, we can start our we can start the war now. We'll do our crime against Allah to get our tech costs down. Even though we're going to westernize, so I guess that's not really that important right now, is it? Still, more money and manpower could be good. Yeah, we'll declare on Khorasan, who will call in Sind and Yarkand. We don't care about making them co-belligerent. Don't care about Sind. We'll make it the reconquest of... Kabul? Let's make it over my mana, because we're just more likely to get the Ticking War score started. And of course I had lowered maintenance, so we have no, no morale at all. Awesome. Eighteenth, twenty-first, perfect. These guys have no morale, but it's such a big army that I don't think we have to worry about it. Okay, we'll siege those down, ignoring manpower. Or, sorry, ignoring attrition. Sind got called in, but they, they don't matter. We have no leader. Ooh, our heir is eligible to become a guy. You become a guy now. You're actually not horrible. But you're going to die. We're going to get you killed. Alright, the wave of artillery is complete. So we'll just start grabbing groups of four. It's good for now. I'll just wait. In a month or two, it'll be more apparent which ones I've already selected, which ones I haven't. Getting really close to the limit again.
Oh, you want to fight, do you? Well. If we lose, we lose. We'll just be back with more. Okay, the rule is that armies are not allowed to move until they get their reinforcements. I think he was one of the ones that needed one, though. So we can reinforce to him. Where are you going? You have been reinforced, so you are allowed to move forward. You are also allowed to steal the leader. And move back over to my mana. My mana. Okay, you are reinforced. Good, good. Stay there, because there's a chance of a rebellion. Or there was. Might as well lower autonomy, then. Kind of prompt a rebellion. Let's grab all these guys, have them go to, like, you. Inspiring victory is gone. Siege of Kulat. Or not Kulat. Some, some place has completed. This guy still needs artillery. This guy got his artillery. Come on forward. Got a spare artillery here. So you are balanced, but you need to time to recover. You are free. As are you two, as are you. So you four belong to him. But it's kind of dangerous to reinforce down there. So let's reinforce you to the fort. And as soon as we have an opportunity to actually, to actually do it, I will. Just talking to Wiz, and apparently in the next patch, you will no longer be a... Oop, Lithuania are now supporting an own heir. I don't care about that. Um, you will no longer be allowed to, dis dis uh, to destroy or delete re regiments if they are in uh, next to hostile territory or next to a hostile army. So no more disbanding an army right before the troops come in to smash you. No more avoiding the war exhaustion from that. You could actually be kind of useful in a minute. Pretty close fight. Right back to our own land. So that we can recover at full speed. We uh, don't have the reinforcement speed guy. Um, an army moved. I thought I told you you were all not allowed to move. Until you got your reinforcements. Apparently you belong to him. And you have fully reinforced already. Well, wow. Well, good for you. You come on down here. Which means you guys can safely go join your leader. Create a proper fleet. Conquer Azar. Abba. Hmm. I don't know about that. Kazani Separatists. I mean, if you have to do it, then go ahead. Okay, um... When a country executes a decision in their special interest. 
I guess I don't care. I mean, if they do big decisions, I, I care about that, but that one's kind of minor. Hmm. Alright, Corson. Um, well, first off, let's piece out Yarkin separate. Well, actually... Is that going to cost me duple points no matter what I do? That sucks. Oh well. I don't really care. And to return territory, it's free for that one. It costs points for everything else. Which I really don't like. Kabul. How much does it take to give Kabul back? 40 Diplo points. God. We should, we should declare a war over Kabul. Even return cores still cost points. Like, there is no option that's free. Sixteen for Bayam or sixteen. Not a fan. Alright. Well, let's go for this one. And it's very nearly time to uh, to start westernizing. Insult Ming, get back about 50 for a couple, couple months. Probably need to declare war on Ming soon. Okay, 50 war score, you should be willing to do what I want. We'll declare a separate war over Kabul because that's 40 Diplo points, I don't want to do that. Okay, and back to our own land. We're doing that. We're turning off forts again. And... I think we can, we can probably do it. We have a tiny bit of overextension, but that's going to go away very quickly. So is now a good time to westernize? Probably not with overextension. We have a tiny bit of unrest. We've got some more exhaustion and overextension. Let's wait three months. Maybe finish the over... the uh, this thing. Because when, when westerners... Western station's really hard, from what I hear. When they pop up, they like instant occupy everything. Which is kind of bullshit. But. Persia's declared war now. Good. Yeah, make Corson smaller so that I can I can just vassalize them in the next war. Actually, at ninety percent, they might full annex. Well, you're going to be gone pretty quick. Ming has been caught fabricating claims. I need claims on Ming. Actually, I just need to attack Ming. They're in Tech 13. We don't really have a good advantage over them. I think we should westernize. Probably westernize first.
But that's going to cost us quite a few power points. Like for the next 10 years while we westernize, we won't have power projection. 10 years at one point per category per month, that's 36 points a year. It's 360 monarch points over 10 years. It's not insignificant. It's not the end of the, not the, end of the uh, world if we don't have it, but it would be nice. Let's just start westernizing. It's not possible to start while overextended. Well, it's a good reason to wait for this to finish, then. I'm not sure if it was the message settings or reinstalling Windows, but something has changed. The game is just not running like crap anymore. I, re I, th I think it could be related to the message settings. I think that the game is, like, spamming so much crap that doesn't matter and trying to track it all and, like, where do I send it, that it is just causing problems. Alright, so we're going to lose three stability. That sucks. We're not going to want to have level three advisors. We are currently making money. Let's go down to about here. Now let's start westernizing. Five per month. 2,800 divided by 15. It's going to take 186 months divided by 12. That's 15 years, actually. But let's do it. Let's see if we can actually westernize in this patch. And we're going to immediately boost stability before we get the increased cost of westernization. I'm going to go up to level 2. I just want to make it as easy as possible to, to do this. So Western Influences is going to raise it by a bit. A, uh, a theologian would make things so much easier right about now. But, of course, he's not available. We could hire and fire a few guys. Tell you what, I'm willing to spend 400 ducats to try it. Let's wait one month and see if we get lucky. We don't need a level 2 military guy right now. Let's save some money there. Fort Defense Guy will actually help out with uh, rebellions, if there are rebellions, because instead of it taking them 30 days, it'll take them 36 days, type thing. Power projection is slipping. Alright, Missionary Strength Guy. Ugh. Now, these guys are really expensive to cycle. It sucks. Missionary Strength Guy could actually be useful right now, though. Alright, sure. 500 ducats for that? No. No. That's not worth it. We can convert, so let's just convert slowly. In fact, let's not convert at all while we westernize. Or should we? We have tons of manpower. I'm at max force limit. I have 218,000 troops. I, I, I guess I don't really need to worry about it, do I? Hmm. We've got six available force limits, so... Start building up this extra 11th regiment. Yeah, May of 1618. So we are we should be losing diplo power like really quick. Low morale is not good. Maybe I had a little bit too much of a morale reduction. Yeah, 37 days because of that, that defensive guy. He's, he's useful. Well, that sucks. The fun westernization events begin. Oh god, we're going to have another major... Russian Rebellion, that's right.
It's these in it's these ones without fort protection that I really need to worry about. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. See you again in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.